And I'm going to have to look at the at the book to know the settings. So I'll have it sitting out here. On those seamsters. I'll grab a paper towel here and we're going to sew. Just finished uh, I've just gone through and completely serviced this machine greased it oiled it checked all the adjustments made what adjustments it needed inspected everything this is a really nice machine it's uh from 72 or 73. That's the two years they made the the 14 220. And it, actually it looks like it never really got used. I mean it was real clean inside. Either if they did use it they took very very good care of it. I mean it's not perfect. It's got a little oil stain here from where it was set up and serviced and oil dripped down and the little lock here is broken off which doesn't really matter I mean, so it's not perfect but as far as the, uh, the paint and everything I can't really find any blemishes in the paint Plate's not all scratched up. It's it's an excellent shape. It's a beautiful machine. Everything works on it. Yeah, let's let's try it and see what happens. Now this is one of the zigzag stitches. Honestly, I don't know which one. off of there where I started out. You can drop your feed dogs right here. Uh, here's your reverse. I wound a bobbin here a little, little bit ago. The uh, bobbin winder works. Everything works on this machine. Let's go back to a straight stitch. With straight stitch you do everything uh, everything goes to to the red uh, let me see if I can find it on this one yeah there it is S, S and then this is your uh, your how many how many stitches per inch We'll go with about 12. That should take us to a straight stitch there at 12. We'll try a 
couple more of these zigzags. Nice job. I got the tensioner, uh, I got them dialed in pretty good. That's actually, yeah, it's about set on about two right there. Let's see what other zigzags we got here. In the Got the book for it too. I think that first one I did, I think that's a blind hemming stitch. Let me try this Rick Rack stretch stitch. Yeah, this book is excellent on it. It tells you exactly what you need to do, where your settings need to be. So this setting is here. It's that's where it should be. And then here you got a red mark on top and a black mark on top. And your stitch width control, any number between two and five. So that's uh, that's this one here on the outside. So it says between two and five we'll go to three and a half. And then this one goes on B. We'll see what happens. This machine goes a lot faster, but I've got it set on a long table here. And it wants to springboard. Try another one. I'm not a seamstress, so I don't even know what I'm, I'm looking at here. I don't know what what stitches people normally use. Yeah, this is a mending stitch. I guess that's putting two fabrics together. Huh? Special stitch dial. I'll go there. Red mark on top. Stitch width control four to five. We'll put it right in the middle, four and a half. And then on the stitch length, it's anywhere except the black dot. We'll go. Yeah, I'll go with eight, I guess. I'm going to trim those so they don't get all hung up. I haven't, haven't used the reverse on any of this, but it's right here. You just press down, and it reverses. So you can set your stitches.
this is a real nice little machine. I think I did everything, I don't know. I've worked on machines my whole life, but as far as sewing, <clears throat> I haven't done much of that at all. Well, that's a wide one there. Try that a little, a little shorter. That's at eight stitches. It just, man, it just zoomed right across there. Let's shorten that up and see what happens. We're gonna run that up to 24 and see how she looks. looks more like it's supposed to look. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. They're good looking stitches. They're setting right. Even though this is just a paper towel. Not pulling on either side, so it's, it's adjusted in pretty good for this. Well, I don't really know what else to uh, to test on it. second one we did there. That's a sharp looking That'd be a... You could monogram with that one. They show that in the book. Making a heart there. Is it appliqueing or something? That's really... Show you how to do everything. Uh, I guess we'll go back to a straight stitch. I don't know. Don't know really what else to do. Right up there, about 12 stitches on that matter. inch, I guess. Somebody that knew what they were doing with this machine and make some nice stuff. Anyway, there's what she'll do. Thanks for watching.